Now we start chapter 11, the duties of the officers. The officers of the congregation are typically one, the president, two, the vice president, three, the secretary, and four, the treasurer. There may be others, but if there are, they are usually assistants to one of the four officers. We will discuss each of these officers and then go briefly through it. The president of the congregation is the executive director. His chief responsibility is to see that all elected officers, department chairmen, and departments are functioning well and managing their responsibilities correctly. He is an ex officio member of all departments and shall attend their meetings when necessary and appropriate. The president should not have any other duties. The president will manage each voters meeting and each council meeting. For each meeting he will prepare an agenda. He will see that each department has a report on their activities prepared and ready for distribution to the voters at least two weeks before the meeting. For the voters meeting he will present for action recommendations from the church council. He should manage these meetings in agreement with good rules of order and avoid long and boring meetings. The president and vice president and the pastor should meet regularly to analyze progress and review needs in the church programs. They should also plan for officer and department chairman training on a regular basis. The president shall choose the committees if the bylaws or resolutions from the voters require that. He should make use of the talents of the members found by the stewardship department. He shall delegate defined duties and responsibilities to the vice president. If the policy of the congregation requires, he shall approve and countersign all bills and checks before they are paid by the treasurer. The vice president shall manage meetings of all the voters and the council. If the president cannot come to these meetings, if necessary, the vice president shall also prepare the agendas for these meetings. He shall meet with the president and the pastor regularly to review church programs. He should do those responsibilities given to him by the president. These often include attending department or committee meetings to represent the president. Sometimes both the president and vice president are absent. The secretary should take over. If any officer leaves his office because of disability, death, or some other reason, the bylaws should provide for him replacing him within a short time. This can be selected by the council or by special election by voters.